Hello everyone, my name is Silvia Romano, I'm Chief International Affairs for Centro Studi Galileo. Today with me is Tobias Batsten, Division Manager Refrigerants and Propellants for Daikin Chemicals. Thank you Tobias for being with us. Thank you very much for the invitation. I would like to point out that we are in Chilventa 22, finally back in person, fully in person. There's a lot of people, a lot of movement, especially at your booth. And I would like to start this interview by asking you about the recovery and reclaim business about Daikin. Okay, yeah. thank you Silvia uh, for the introduction. Yeah, I just wanted to um, raise a few points about our, let's say, new business. Uh, so back in 2019, um, Daikin invested a lot of uh, money in our facility in Frankfurt, Germany, where we um, set up a recycling and reclamation plant for used refrigerants in the gas. So um, you know that one of the big pillars in the FGAS regulation is reclamation and recycling. So that was the decision by, by, by Daikin taken to invest uh, into this business. And we have um, scaled up our production since then. So we are already at a uh, production of industrial level of um, recycled reclamation uh, gases. So, and yeah, one very important thing is uh, that uh, we started to work together with um, um, uh, waste companies mm. and also with, uh, with the entire value chain. So it starts from the from the operators uh, um, of uh, refrigerant units, comes then to installation companies and also uh, refrigerant um, distributors. So what Daikin is doing is we uh, work together closely with the entire value chain in order to uh, make it possible to uh, get access to the used refrigerants. And then they are uh, transported uh, to our facility and we uh, completely renew the gases. So we clean them. Uh, we separate them and we produce absolutely virgin refrigerants mm. so that we don't lose any any molecule of uh, used gases and can bring them and provide them back to the market so that's what we do since 2019 so we have now um, a lot of experience in this and we are also trying to uh, uh, let's extend this for for example also flammable gases mm -hmm. in the future so that we uh, keep the the used gases in the in the loop so, and you know, uh, together with the Daikin Air Conditioning, uh, we have uh, established the Loop project, which means the Daikin Air Conditioning has all the contacts in the market uh, to all the, the customers. So that's, we use the big, our big organization to have access and, and um, support uh, the uh, recycling and the circularity. Yeah, it's important to show that you support not mm. only the contractors, no. the companies, but also somehow the future generations, because exactly. by this, uh, you avoid waste of refrigerants, waste of material and pollution. So this is a very important point. That's exactly the aim and that's what we are you know, absolutely committed to in, in the entire Daikin. That's not only a Daikin chemical single uh, action, but we are a chemical company. So we have all the expertise of uh, reclamation and recovery. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you very much, Tobias. Thank you. We have the second part of this interview with another friend of ours, Felix Flor. Technical Service Manager for Daikin Chemicals. Thank you, Felix, for your time. Yeah, thank and you for the invitation. I would like to profit from your presence by asking you um, what kind of new developments of refrigerants Daikin Chemicals has at the moment? Yeah, we are uh, in the phase to develop a new molecule for refrigerant uh, proposals. It's the 1132E. It is already registered under uh, ASHRAE 34 and ISO 817. And we build blends out of this new molecule. 474A is a blend which is uh, targeting the battery electric uh, vehicle market because uh, we see a lack of capacity for heat pump applications in battery electric vehicles and this refrigerant can cover this while it, uh, maintain, uh, keep, uh, while it is still under the critical point when it comes to air conditioning uh, application. And, uh, so it, it uh, closes the gap between CO2 Excellent and uh, 1234 wire. So this is a new development from our company. And furthermore, we develop also uh, a, a blend which uh, has uh, more capacity, which goes more into the direction of 410A and R32. Great, that sounds like a new step, of yeah. course, in the right direction. Yeah, we, yeah, we are very excited because it offers a lot of opportunities. And uh, yeah, it's very good and nice. Fine molecule. 
of course, your company supports our company since yeah. long time. We are Platinum Partners. You also advertise in our magazines, the latest one, international yeah. one. But you not only support the business, you also support the associations. So uh, an association like EFCTC. So maybe you would like to tell us a few words for our viewers and yeah. disclose about the topic. Yeah, we are a member of EFCTC. EFCTC is an association out of five companies and uh, it handles three main topics at the moment. First uh, is illegal imports, second is the FGAS uh, revision and uh, the FGAS regulation revision and uh, the third one is the uh, topic about FIFAS. So these are our main uh, topics which we are discussing in EFCTC and uh, where we position our industry and uh, yeah, give our uh, view on these important topics. Yeah, we also believe they're very important. In fact, we also collaborate with this yeah. association and we try to spread the word as much as possible about illegal imports. That's also okay. um, a burden for our sector. And we are very happy that you support this reality as yeah. well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Felix. And thank, thank you, Daikin, once again, thank you. for your collaboration. Thank you.